Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley. I live in Southern California and I have a family of four. Every week I share my grocery hauls with you to help give you ideas on how to budget and shop for your family and just share prices in my area. I will pop up the prices for everything I purchased on the screen so you can see how much it costs and if you look in the description box, you'll find my meal plan for the next week. Today I shopped at Costco. I stocked up on a lot of our favorites and back to school items. So let me go over everything and let you know what it's for. This is the first half. I'll put it away and come back with the second half. I spent $350.17, um, which I think was good for everything that I got. So let's get started. Okay, snacks. I got some popcorn. I've been buying the small boxes from Aldi. They're like five bucks for, I don't even know how many, like eight bags. This has 44 bags for the price on the screen. It's a great value. So I went ahead and got that and now we're set on popcorn for a while. I also got some goldfish and this has three bags inside so that they stay fresh. Um, each bag we'll put into a container and then as we run out, we'll open a new bag. So this will last us quite a while. And this is for school lunches. Also for school lunches are these Welch's fruit snacks. These are my fav my kids' favorite fruit snacks and they were on sale, so that was a good price. I picked up some Capri Suns for school lunches. They're the 100% juice kind. There's 40 pouches, which is like four of the small boxes. Um, much better price than Aldi. Aldi, they're like $3 for each box, and these were on sale, so I went ahead and got those. Also got some produce for lunches. I got these blueberries. Also picked up some baby carrots. Again, they're in two different pouches so that they stay fresh. I am stocked up on string cheese. This is a big container. I think it has 60 in there. So we'll have string cheese for quite a while. This is also a really great soccer snack because my kids play soccer. Something that they can take with them um, in a cooler for practice, after practice. Then for some fruit, I got some grapes. I love the green grapes from Costco. They're so crunchy and like firm. That's like my favorite way to eat grapes is when they're like nice and crisp. So I got those. This is three pounds. It also is organic. That wasn't important to me. This was the only grape option they had. And then I got these plum cots and I got these because it's not a giant container. It's only two pounds. And sometimes the quantity you get at Costco is just too much. And I wanted to make sure that we're going to eat it all. Next, we got a pineapple. This is all of the produce. We got some romaine lettuce for Caesar salad. We have croutons and dressing already. Also, a big bag of golden potatoes. And my kids have been liking me cutting up potatoes and roasting them in the air fryer and having that as a side for dinner. So that's what those are for. Back to school lunches, I got the simple Go-Gurts. This has, um, I think, 32, yeah, 32 tubes, half strawberry, half mixed berry. I went ahead and got two because I put these in the freezer and then throw them in their lunchbox so that they are thawed out by lunchtime. Um, so perfect, and they're on sale, so that was just such a good price. So I went ahead and just stocked up on two. And then Hot Pockets were on sale. So I got a box. This is just a good backup for like my husband. If he doesn't have leftovers to take to work for lunch or he runs out of breakfast burritos, this is just another option of something he can grab and go to take with him. This has 20 in the pack. And then I forgot to share, I got these Brookside dark chocolate acai blueberries. They're so, so good. I love them. Um, it's a big bag. It is resealable. I'll probably throw it in the freezer just for it to last longer. But this is my guilty pleasure and it was on sale, so I went ahead and got it. All right, so now for just regular breakfast items, I got the chocolate muffins. They have different flavors. You get two packages for the price. I cut them in half and freeze them. And then the kids will I'll probably freeze like eight of these muffins. So like one container and part of another container. The other ones we can just keep in the fridge and they'll be good for like a week or so. Um, but these muffins we like doing for breakfast. I'll make some scrambled eggs. I'll have half a muffin and some fruit. So this is a really good breakfast option and they have different flavors. Then I got the bacon crumbles. 
This is just really nice to throw um, into some eggs for like a quick omelet. We keep that in the fridge. I got some Folgers coffee. Also a big bag of pancake mix. We use this a lot and it also makes um, waffles. And the good thing is, is if you forget to pull out something for dinner, you can always make pancakes and you just have to add water. You don't need anything else. Then my husband picked out these cinnamon rolls as a little breakfast um, option. We also get the pre-cooked bacon. It's just such a good value, 50 slices for the price. And you can just cook one or two pieces at a time. You don't have to make like a whole pound of bacon at once. You don't have to dirty your stove. You just microwave it. Super fast and easy. I got two packages. And then for some more lunches, I got some roast beef. I'll put this into like two or three packs and freeze some of it just because it's a little bit too much. Um, we won't eat it enough because um, I'll probably honestly be the only one that eats it, me and my husband. Um, but this will make some good sandwiches. Then I got some hot dog buns and three packs of hot dogs. We will freeze two of these, so we'll have hot dogs for a while. We freeze a lot of the stuff from Costco that we buy in bulk, and it really does save money in the long run. We got mozzarella cheese. It comes with two bags that are two and a half pounds each, and um, this is just for pizzas. We always have everything on hand to make pizzas. This is just a really easy lunch. On the weekends or a quick dinner and we always have this we'll package the mozzarella we'll, or yeah we'll do two bags per bag so we'll pour half of this into a different freezer bag and freeze it we'll put the other half in the fridge this one we'll put into two freezer bags and we'll have mozzarella cheese for quite a while to go with that for the pizzas I got the stone fire naan I got two packages each one has 18 again we put these in the freezer we just pull out the amount we need for dinner that night and leave the rest in the freezer. I got two of these. Next, we got some Mexican style cheese. We use this to make quesadillas or cheesy rolls for the kids. They really like those for snacks or um, weekend lunches. Um, also, when we do like taco night or stuff like that, we use cheese a lot for omelets. Again, we'll portion this into four bags and freeze some of it. Then for those sandwiches, I got some mayo. It's a two pack, they were on sale. I also got another one of these Japanese barbecue sauces. We got this last time and it was so good. So we went ahead and got another one. We got a rotisserie chicken because we always get a rotisserie chicken when we go to Costco. I have a video, I don't know if it's, a, it's on here or if it's a reel on Instagram of how I do three dinners from this rotisserie chicken, but that's gonna be in my meal plan. I also got a pork loin, so this is a long pork loin. It is 6.9 pounds, and we got this instead of the cut pork chops because this was 50 cents a pound cheaper, and we'll just cut it ourselves. So we'll do some thicker, some thinner. I also got chicken drumsticks, and these are nice because they're easily separated pouches that you can stick into the freezer. Two pouches is one dinner for us. Each pouch has like four drumsticks in it. And this was only 99 cents a pound. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then something that's not a good deal, but it's really good, are these just bare, lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. These um, chicken nuggets are like Chick-fil-A, and it saves us from going through the drive through They're good on a salad and a wrap on their own, like KFC bowls. Whatever you want to do, they're really good. And I got two bags to have on hand. And that is everything that I got from Costco for our stock up haul for our home. This was $350.17. If you enjoy watching these grocery hauls, I'll see you next week with an Aldi haul. It probably won't be very big, but it'll be all the things that we didn't need in bulk. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another grocery haul. Bye.